The Fed's favorite inflation gauge at the PCE price index rose 4.2% in March, but that was cooler than the 5.1% in February. Let's bring in Dan Deming of KKM Financial. Dan, the Fed meets this week. Is a quarter point hike still the expectation? This is a big week. Yeah, Angie, this is a big week. Uh, I mean, early in the week, we have a couple of small data points, ISM data points that the market will key off of a bit because of some of the data points that we received last week. But the big driver this week will be the Fed announcement. The expectations are when you look at the CME FedWatch tool, 90% chance of a quarter point hike now. So it, it does appear that the market anticipates that the Fed's going to continue to move forward. And then we'll see what they have to say in the press conference as to their thought process moving forward. So that's going to be a big influence in the market this week. Couple that with some earnings uh, highlighted by Apple, as well as the unemployment report on Friday. So lots to move this market this first week of May. As the old saying goes, sell in May and go away. Are there any signals in the market that traders and investors are likely to do big selling in May? You know, it's hard to say at this point, Angie, there's a lot of variables that could stall this market. But the one thing I'm watching very closely this week is uh, the momentum in the market as we continue to knock on the top end of the range, not only for the last month, but also for the last several months when you look at the NASDAQ potentially breaking to new highs going back to last August, as well as the S&P. So I think the escape, escape velocity would be the key driver. If Will we be able to establish that this week coming off of some of the announcements throughout the week? I think a lot of market participants are watching for that. And if we are, then that old adage of selling may and go away, at least in the first few weeks, could be a little bit uh, delayed. What's been the reaction so far to big tech earnings? There's a lot of moving parts here, Angie. But overall, I'd have to say that the reaction in the tech world uh, to some of these earnings announcements uh, has caught some people by surprise, but also a short term positive. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Angie. Thanks for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.